Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Cultural Fans Wrestling. I am Arve. And I'm Kavika. And we're here to do our predictions for Crown Jewel. And without further ado, I did win my belts back. By a lot. All mine. I did, actually. Yes. I only got one wrong. And that was uh, Cody. Everyone got that one wrong. Oh, now y'all, if y'all been watching, y'all know, regardless if I know he gonna lose, I still vote for Cody. Now the time I do not vote for him, he fucking win. Like what? I would have had a clean sweep if I would just kept on with my trend. But now I wanted to change it because I know he had been losing. But come on. Really? What is this Jay and Cody? Tag team. And then it was duo. Gone like that. That is crazy. It was like two weeks they had the belt. Yeah, two weeks. Or something like that. It was something really, really short. Wait, I missed that. Who took it? Oh, you missed that? Yeah. It's back on the Judgment Day with Finn and Damien. Oh, when they, okay, yeah, I, okay. I didn't know they had one because I didn't watch that whole episode. Wow. Wow. So they're going to bounce it back and forth? I don't know. They ain't going to bounce it all up. They just did that just because they didn't have no excitement for Fastlane. And that's what it was called? Yeah. yeah. Can't even remember what it's called. Because <laughs> we both was like, this is going to be a dud. I mean, aside from them winning and Carlito showing up, it kind of was just, yeah. Right? I just watched the highlights. Yeah. Because I figured it wasn't going to be... Seth and, um, and Shinsuke fight uh, was pretty decent to me. The highlight stuff that they put together. Yeah. But it looked like it was a pretty decent fight. The rest of it, I was just like, okay. Yeah, LA Knight and Cena against the bloodline. The bloodline. <laughs> that was laughable. I mean, Cena can't really wrestle anymore. Or <sighs> con- Controversial oh, opinion. <laughs> He never really knew how to wrestle. He's really good on the mic, kind of like L.A. Knight is. (laughs) Well, you ready to get in these predictions? I am. So we'll go with the one. As far as I know, it's the only pre-show fight. Okay. Which is J.D. McDonough versus Sami Zayn. Who you got? Sami. I got Sami as well. And that one's nice, easy, clean. Don't even have to worry about that one. Because, you know, you know. No, I won't say that. <laughs> Never mind. If it's y'all. about JD, you've already called him a hobbit before, so. Ah, I did, and that's what I was about to go back with. <laughs> yeah, but I, <laughs> I don't want, I don't want, I want any bad, you know. Juju. Yeah, it's sorry. Well, that was an easy one. So we'll go to John Cena versus Solo Sokoa. No, I, I, I picked Solo. I, originally, when I was looking at it yesterday, I was like, oh, whenever you first sent it to me, I first was looking at it, I said, maybe it's a cool. But I don't know. They keep bringing uh, Cena on the, little, on, the, on the scene, and every time they do, most of the time they make him win. They have him win. So I don't know. Solo is big. But they, it's like, to me, I feel like right now, they're in the... In the in the era of embarrassing the bloodline. Okay. So I just feel like, okay, John Cena, old head, let's keep continuing to embarrass the bloodline right now until they figure out what they actually do with the bloodline. Well, since you've only seen bits and pieces of the show, they have been saying I think I think it was John Cena's last win, it was like two and a half years ago or something like that. And they keep bringing it up mm-hmm. before this fight. So that made me did lean kind of like, okay, maybe they'll have him win. But why does he need to beat Solo Sokoa? Sure. What, what does he have to gain from that? Nothing, to be honest. So, to me, it's Solo. Okay. No disagreement. All right. Well, so we'll go with this match because it's not for a championship. Okay. Cody Rhodes versus Damian Priest. <sighs> Stand on a trend. I'm going to go with Cody. <laughs> don't disappoint me <laughs> that's all I can say 
So I'm going to go with Damien. Yeah, I figured. I already knew he was going to go for Damien. I just knew it. Ugh. I, Ugh. I just knew it. It's mainly because I find Cody boring. But. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't, I can't like, semi-agree with that because it's like he really has not been doing anything. Mm-hmm. And it kind of sucks. It kind of made me feel like, ugh. What? You're falling, you're falling <laughs> in the waistlines. Like, no, what are you doing? So, I don't know. I'm just still going to say Cody. I'm going to go back. Much man. He loves, he loves, he win, he win. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> and now for the United States title, champion Rey Mysterio versus Logan Paul. I'm going with Logan. I think he's going to take the belt. I contemplated on this one. This one still is a question mark. I'm going to say Ray. I think he's going to keep his belt a little bit longer. They ain't going to let him get rid of it yet. Because... With LWO, I mean, they still ain't, I don't know how to describe it. It ain't popping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dead flat line. So I think they're going to just kind of prolong it just a little bit longer because Logan just keep popping in and out, in and out. For what reason? No, see, here's my thinking, right? Because he's in still in kind of in that feud with Ricochet. Yeah. I think this is their way of getting Ricochet into a title picture mm. while giving uh, Logan Paul credibility. I didn't think about that. I was thinking go at Ray, but no, I didn't think about that. That's that's the only thing that... Yeah, that makes know, sense, though, because they do that. They still and like you do. said, LWO is kind of... Flatline. You know. Ain't no hair on. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> they dead, y'all. They oh, dead. Man. <laughs> no heartbeat. All right. We got next. How about Eo Sky versus Bianca Belair? Eo Sky. Eo, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. I would not be surprised if Bianca won. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. But I think I feel like Eo needs to hold it a little bit longer. Okay, yeah. so we're thinking the same thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm thinking the same thing. I mean, I would love for Bianca to have a belt back, but I got a feeling though. Yeah. You'll be able to cut all that out. But you don't care. It really don't matter. It's just children. <laughs> <laughs> I figure I just do my best on the audio and whatever it turns out to be it turns out to be alright so I did EO so let's switch it up let's switch it up Okay. we'll do Seth freaking Rollins versus Drew McIntyre come on cue the music put it in right here you know Seth freaking Rollins is going in oh Okay, so I have a question. I don't know. I don't know how you want to do this. Okay. So I feel like Seth is gonna win. Okay. Between him and Drew. Mm-hmm. Oh lord. I think I think Damien's gonna cash in if he loses his fight to Cody. Either way, win or lose, I think he's cashing in. Mm. I can see that because I mean they try to cash in. So I don't know if you if what, it, a week ago, a couple of weeks ago, a week ago. It's just like every other week. Yeah. But I don't know if you want to like add that in as a maybe match and make a prediction for that or just leave it as. Why the fuck not? But Seth's still going to keep the belt. No, nah, if Dam- Damien is going to no. lose that. If Damien cashes in, Free he's going to be the world. What is it? World heavyweight champion? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's going to be the world heavyweight champion and tag team champion. It's going to be a. Another repeat of how Austin Theory lost his um, money in the bank briefcase. No, okay. So I have to disagree. It won't be as embarrassing. No, it won't be as embarrassing. <laughs> Never mind. You're right. You're right. That was embarrassing. That was very embarrassing. Was, it was it really won't be bad. But I, I got to No. Going back to what you said with Fastlane, he going to cash in his briefcase, but the country not going to be in that briefcase. Remember, oh, that's, that's also a possibility. That, uh... See your uh, money in the bank. So. Okay, so just for a recap, Seth versus Drew. You got Seth. I got Seth. Mm-hmm. If Damien catch it, cashes in, you have Seth. I got Seth. I have Damien. Okay. All right. Okay. Bit. 
No, I had that in there. <laughs> <laughs> now we will go with the women's world heavyweight. Rhea versus Nia versus Raquel versus Zoe versus Shayna. Who you got? Rhea keeping her belt. Yeah, Rhea's keeping it. I was literally looking at the picture and being like, the only charismatic person is Rhea. She's the only one with like a real defined character. Yep. Because Nia's just big. Yeah. Uh, Raquel is a back. Uh, what is it? <laughs> What? <laughs> Raquel is a back. <laughs> <laughs> Shayna just, I don't know, walks around like a dude. True. And Zoe is basically like a copy and paste of Shayna. Yeah, she she's trying to find a way, but you know. I feel she's like that shadow right that now. that whole Trish thing I think was supposed to help her find her way, yeah, but, but she, she never did. did. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said she's a shadow. She don't know how to come out of the shadows, but you know. I wish they would do more with my girl Raquel. She has gotten better wrestling wise. Her powerhouse is a little better than what you know. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, she's definitely way better than yeah, she used to be. Way better than what she used to be. So I don't know. I just feel like they stalling her. I mean I mean if they did give her the belt here, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad. But they, they have to they have to change her. Something has to change. Bit, yeah. You know? She either has a turn heel. Or get or some, be a better face. Get some charisma. Yeah, something. You ain't got to be good on the mic. You just have to be decent. No, I was just about to say she's going to start talking a little bit more. Because I was like, oh, okay, she do have a voice. Yeah. <laughs> At oh. first, I thought she used to be English. She's just, she's just a back. Yeah. Actually, in the, this, <laughs> this is funny to me. What? She's not a heel or a face. She's just a back. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she is like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so we both got Rhea. Yeah, we both got Rhea. And let's see, I think this is the last one, I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure. Yeah, because we did them, we did them, yep. So what I would assume is the main event, Roman Reigns versus LA Knight. Excuse my face. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I'm so over this man having his belt, but I know he's going to keep it. So they're going to go with Roman, even though he has not shown face in a while. I mean, I am a couple of weeks behind. But he showed up I haven't seen his this face. last Friday, I believe. I haven't seen his face for a while. Dang, he just not showing his face? Yeah, because they had the contract uh, signing. Good gracious alive. Yeah, I think he's going to keep it, unfortunately. Yeah. I'd be glad when he loses it, but... I got a feeling he's not gonna lose it into WrestleMania, which is a long time for now. But well, which so sucks. I'm also picking Roman. But to go off what you just said, some people are thinking he's gonna keep it past Mania. Past Mania? Because if I, I can't remember what it is, but if he keeps it, I think like a month or two past Mania, he breaks Hulk Hogan's record from the '70s or something for the mm. longest reign. Okay, you I know? Can see that. And it, it, the rain is like, I'd, I'd have to look it up, but I think it's like a thousand four hundred something days, or something like that. Okay. Don't quote me on that, but it's something crazy like that. And some people are thinking he's just gonna keep it, like it's gonna be Cody and Roman again at Mania. Cody's gonna lose, and then he's gonna keep it past Mania, and then lose it to, I don't know, probably Gunther or something like that. Yeah, that no. Uh, what made me think of that is gonna be. Or even like you said, not thinking about Hulk Hogan's uh, record. Because like you said, they want him and Cody to fight again because they keep bringing up the story again Mm -hmm. and finishing his story. Like, oh, find another story. (laughs) 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 He's still my boy. But oh, yeah, leave him alone. I was about to say, that's coming from somebody who actually likes Cody Rhodes. Find another story. Make your own story at the end of the day. Because if you keep going off somebody else's story, the damn story ain't going to never finish. Huh. That's kind of what Damien said a week ago. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh, not, not the exact same thing, but it's oh, pretty man. close. Okay. Shoot. Find your own. Oh, my goodness. I guess that's our predictions, y'all. 
We'll see who's going to win. So make sure to like, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. We'll see you at the end of the month because Survivor Series is November 25th, I believe. Okay. I might add, I don't know how he feels about it. We might have to start making an in-between video of after we do the predictions of who won and, you know, our reactions of some of the fights. Let us know in the comments. Put it down. Let us know so we can give y'all more content. We're not going nowhere unless y'all want us to. But please don't say you want us to. <laughs> so like, click the bell so you get your notifications. And we'll see you in two weeks. Two weeks. Adios. Peace.